me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. Welcome back to A New Untold Story, our, our Halloween special. It's another fictional cruise. But before we get to that, uh, let's talk about Game Time. It's a ticketing app where you can get tickets. Um, you can get them for 20% off if you use code UNTOLD. $20 off, I'm sorry. Um, download the Game Time app, go to the account tab, create a login. Kyle, what did you use Game Time to go see? I saw the best U.S. Open match of all time. Yeah. You were there till 3 a.m. Francis Tiago versus... The Al- Al- Alcaraz. I was at that match. You were there? I was there I was from the, the, thanks to Game Time. That was an awesome match. And Game Time is an app created by fans for fans. Good call. That's yes. right. The people at Game Time have interests outside of them themselves. They they root for things, they enjoy things. Kyle, you uh I don't want to we don't really talk about personal shit on here. You just signed a contract extension. The first person you text was me. And you said, I'm about to start dressing like a douchebag. <laughs> So congrats, man. I said a complete dickhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah complete yeah, dickhead. Yeah. A complete dickhead. So everybody keep keep your eyes out for that. Um, you, you did too, and you've texted It's me not about for, me. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's start off with the news. We focused on our fictional cruise a lot, so I only have like four news jokes to do, um, and they're all bad. So and I focused on my fictional cruise a lot, so I have no... No news, Jim. Yeah. How much you guys Not focus on the cruises has me very concerned. No, 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 no. It's okay. I'm, this I'm is, so nervous about this. I don't. get I get so nervous coming on this podcast. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be, don't be at all. Don't be at all. Um, so the glossary for uh, what's no not glossary table of contents for today is news, and then we're doing a poop experiment update. Uh, it's gone awry, and do you know about the poop experiment we did? I don't. Okay. Oh. Uh, and then KB, uh, if you guys remember a, an ep- a few episodes back. KB had the worst morning of all time where he went to the gym but forgot his headphones, went to buy headphones, and he got sprayed by sediment sediment by the uh, street sweeper. And then the street sweeper driver tweeted him and said, KB, sorry for the sediment. Yeah, no, I had a similar experience. Yeah, okay, again. Yeah, I'm not trying to like draw it out into a saga or an epic or even like a crazy story. It just happened and I'll, maybe I'll recount it. <laughs> I think you should recount it because I'm very curious. Jeez. But that's and then fictional cruise with Feidelberg and uh, as always, Ken Jack for these. Uh, but first, let's get into the news. Where'd that come from? Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, only four this week, so I'm sorry. Did you guys see this? I guess I should say it first. Um, Brittany Griner to carry out a nine-year sentence. Nine-year sentence? Women really do never stop talking. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, guys. (laughs) So that's a real run-on. That's a a real run-on. That's good. Um, (laughs) Ye has been dropped by Adidas, an estimated $2 billion loss for the company. It's ironic that his name is probably also the last thing you'd say when finding out this news. Mm. Yay. (laughs) Be more like, oh, no. (laughs) It was probably the opposite of his name. Um, An Australian man choked out a young kangaroo before it was able to attack his beagle puppy. The now viral video shows a man taunting the seven month kangaroo, telling to telling it to tap out, repeating it (laughs) over and over. Say, Uncle Joey. Sounds a lot like an episode of Full House when Joey Gladstone was trying to teach Michelle to talk. <laughs> every ep- every episode we try to squeeze in a Full House joke. Forgot? No, I forgot. Yeah, you forgot. You you tra- yeah. We're, we'll start. We'll Where's start the shark that. lady at? That's wrong. Uh, Bethany Hamilton. Yeah. No, we retired Bethany Hamilton for okay. Full House. We're Full House. What about podcast. Violet Beauregard? Violet Beauregard yeah, was for well, gone. Violet Beauregard okay. was the theme, and then we went to Bethany Hamilton, and then we went breakfast. And then now we're at Full House. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, but we're, we got we got Full House out of the way. The last blockbuster in Bend, Oregon, is catching some heat online. One customer said they have been harassed with voicemails after just a cup after being a couple days late on returning the classic horror movie It. 
The customer said they came home to 37 voicemails, all just repeating, you got it, do. Sounds like Michelle Tanner tr- got a job at Blockbuster. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That was, that was the news. That was a stretch, but you made it. Uh, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I busted my nut on every single character <laughs> the first episode <laughs> we decided to do house. Full House. I talked about the, 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 the hand in poker being a, a little tanner. Uh, <laughs> all of it. There's nothing else. We I even did Comet. You um, gotta do is... It's shoehorned, but it's good. I yeah. like it a lot. Shoehorns are sometimes... Uh, <laughs> no, they're never the best. Uh, I disagree. I disagree. to get a shoe yeah. on. So, last episode, we pitched a science fair experiment. Um, me and Kyle got into a heated debate. It's, uh, you take a shit in a jar, mm. oh, and you yeah. let the poop... You let the poopy dry out. For men? Yeah. Well, for, would for men, I'd imagine, no? Mm, what? Wouldn't it for men? Well, what happened No, 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 is liquid. You want to drink his well, poop? What happened no, liquid. is the poop would dry, the bacteria... Well, the poop always has some water with it. You don't poop without pee. It, no, 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 no. You, 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 you're kind of just putting your penis in the toilet. So, okay, we had malisec fish a turd out from the toilet and put it in a jar. Okay, so there's some liquid in there. Right, so he's drying it out outside on his stoop. It'll generally, it'll dry out, it'll harden, and it, will, it won't be damp by any means, and it will lose its odor because the bacteria causing it will die. I disagreed, and I said, if you redunk the turd, it'll smell of turd. You agree uh, that it, the odor I hope, would go away. I hope I'm wrong because a scentless turd, a wet scentless turd The odor hilarious. could be revived. Yes. Yeah. Some type of if magic dunked. spell. Via like a zombie, I don't a even zombie think you poop. need to dunk. I think if you break it. So, I think if you crack it, it'll it'll stick. Like a glow yeah. stick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a poop stick? I, th- I, think, I think if you crack the poop, or crack the hard poop. That's a I think third that's, hypothesis yeah. I think that I will welcome. Well, so here's the issue, though. We've already had Malisec bisect his turd, and it's in two jars because... Kyle thinks it'll smell worse if dunked in cream soda. <laughs> I kind of I buy that. No, it, I buy it'll, it'll, the water will do nothing, whereas the cream soda of any brand will <laughs> will revive the odor. So maybe times two. <laughs> I believe <laughs> impossible. It'll it'll smell of turd and cream, which is better than just turd. We'll see. I don't know about that. I, I think, you think the I think, carbonation will. I, I think a cream soda. I think it'll have a very interesting activation. Uh, there yeah, may yeah. be something there's weird, a like a science fair volcano. <laughs> yeah. um, but Malisek sent us the picture of the turd in the jar. Mm. Um, and we are. Oh my having, God, he actually did it? For yeah, him? he did it. This but we're yeah. having him send updates of the smell. So we have him keep on going outside and sending us updates on the smell. Here's what, what is. I'm sorry. I've, I, I got a couple of questions. What is Jake's. Uh, There's the jar of one of the turds. Wait, in dude, that's not a jar. That's a solo cup. Well, we're moving it to a jar once it dries out. <laughs> mm. A terrarium. Yeah. That's, a, that's a solo uh, cup outside. Yeah, to air out. I was never dead set on a jar. I don't think it matters. <laughs> it doesn't it matter. As long as it's open. dry. It yeah, you're I think, I think you're open it up to be an apparatus. I think this. It will lose I its think owner, this science and experiment it will never is regain already, its owner. Is already fucked. It's out on a Why? It's not going to get any smell it's from exposed the... to the elements. A dog well, turd sits outside and loses its smell. Fair play. Yes. All right. All right. But here's where Malisek has lost me from the beginning because he said he's shit in the jar, and I was like, "What's the smell of the turd now?" And he said, "A seven point one. No turd fresh out of the ass is a seven point one." It's always a ten when it's out of the oh, ass. Oh, I disagree. Sometimes you you, you don't never have never a fucking a tur- you, a the baseline just- of a turd out of the ass should be ten. I I, I, I I strongly disagree. I think no wipers have like a no smell. You know, I, no, I, they I think, still stink, bro. I've one thousand percent taken no stink shits. In Wrong. Fact, in fact, I think that's a majority of the shits I take. Wrong. No, what bro. are you eating? The color bro. beige, <laughs> no, bro. No. I I eat like a goddamn animal. I eat like a raccoon, and I think that. I because I, I know because sometimes I'll go Oof, that fucking stinks. But, but you're, most, you're standing up, you're probably meters away from the actual feces. Okay, you think um, that matters a lot? Yes. But also, like, you're when desensitized I'm, to when not I'm only your there, shit dude. but the smell of shit while you're in a bathroom. I think if you got up close, sniffed it, it would. It, it, it would be a, a have a gag reflex nine, ripping. A nine to ten. But nine like when you're ten, sitting always. here, man, a like, fresh fucking, turd can never be a seven. I, I disagree, guys. I gotta say. But if, if it's on the scale, if this turd is living in a vacuum, it should be a 10 when it comes out of the ass. 7.1. That's so like Fantana it would rate it a 7.1. Yeah. It's a, 10. a hard, it's a, 10. a soft 7.1. <laughs> Why didn't Malisek just like If he's fibers. Also, Mal- does Malisek looks like a guy. He's he's handsome. He's 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 well kempt. Yeah, he's he's athletic. He's athletic. We he, didn't have to ask him twice. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's not surprising. Um, I think I think I can see Malisek having. On his worst days, an eight shit. Wrong. No. Wrong. 
wrong. It's the I hottest guys the that hottest have the stinkiest challenge. shit. Bottom How did it look day one? How did the poop look day one? Was there was a, a smear. Looking? There was a mm. smear on the side, so I don't. I just saw that. That wasn't great. Yeah. So. I can't believe he did after this. Th after are you th paying him like a million dollars? No, zero. We didn't have to ask him twice. Yeah. We're like, Malice, like, you do it. You. And he's not on any of the episodes. He's just in the group chat of Anus. <laughs> yeah. We don't know because he helped carry the cameras in one day and we put him in the group chat of Anus. But he could live in an Orange County mansion funded by TikTok creators, but he lives vicariously through UVA football. <laughs> yes. And, like, is our servant. He's our, yes, he'll yes. do anything we want. Here's, here's another weird thing. Day three, he said, boys, it's a one. The smell is a one. Okay, one's a no, little much. No, which so it's I, Which I expected. I expected it to dry out. Three? We've had dry weather, I think cold I said weather. Two I, think, two I think it, it hurts. Would, yeah. I think oh, it but it's, it was hot today. But it, that walk to work in a sweater today. It's, it's too hot it's for this. Well, we were going to have him. It was that was like two days ago. We we're going to have him bring it in this week to finish the experiment. Why do you have our like run a hair dryer on it or something until it's fully dried? Both. I don't think. I don't think he thinks like that. But that tampers the. Experience. I also think. Yeah, no. I think it's got to be exposed. Like right. it's it got to be, be. We'll see what. No, happens. you were just. We just have to get. To I, I, to I was going to. I was. I caught myself and said to the elements. I meant exposed to air. You were so close. Yeah, we were so close. I caught it. I caught it. We were going to have him bring it in. Today we got a text from him. He said, "Boys, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry." We said what? He said it's a three point four right now. <laughs> it went back up. It ascended. I think hot, somebody was. Day. I think somebody was walking down the street with a turd, and they were like, "Whoa, that one doesn't smell as bad." <laughs> hot swap to the turd, yeah. like a pie on a sill, <laughs> like a rambunctious boy that sees a pie on the sill. You guys gotta make a graphic. Oh man, I I can't bring this smelly turd, this three point four turd, to the, yeah. the party. Oh, what what luck. <laughs> a scentless turd. So that's going to be postponed to next week. That's the turd update. Dude, um, thank God, because I would have puked all over this goddamn place. No, because if it didn't stink, if they, it might if, as well if there be was a an open quad. shit in this room. I gotta, I gotta guess I was gonna puke. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Are, you, I mean, you puke pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have him do it, and but I. <laughs> I could if if adding cream soda to turd is like a new viral challenge and it like pff, fills up the room or like that would be awesome. You ever seen the one where it's like it like fucking spits out? It looks yeah, like, like someone opened a gate from hell where yeah. it's like starts yeah, like, just starts spewing I'll, I'll, like this like on a glue type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it'll end up being or basically like end up doing alchemy. Imagine mm -hmm. it just like produces you make gold. Like, imagine it like produces <laughs> like a flashbang. Something. If we create something or it's the cure to cancer, there's just turd and cream soda. Dude, I'm a realist. I think it'll just make it smell significantly worse. You're not being a realist soda, because yeah. cream soda is one of the most aromatic of but sodas. The carbonation bringing we'll out see. the stink, we'll I see. can definitely see. It could reactivate we'll something yeah. for sure. For sure. I wonder if a poop has a core. Like, what if the reason why it got smellier? It's like, it's like, it's like a, a tree. Bar. It's got a bunch of rings. You can count. Yeah, you can count yeah. how many meals are in the turd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would rock. That would rock. Uh, Jake's been intermittent fasting. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. Um, the cream will curdle, coagulate, the mix with carbonation. The cream doesn't curdle, it's artificial. It's not milk. actually it milk. Bomb? Dude, wait, wait, dipping, no a, milk. dipping a dry turd in milk would suck. Oh, yeah, a milk God. turd? Wait, wait, till, wait till you see cream soda. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you see. All right, yeah. There's no awesome. milk in cream soda. You know that. Right? Um, I have to pee so bad. Kyle, yeah, can you do milk. the SoCo ad while I pee? Yeah. And then get into your uh um, I'll get, get into your uh horrible morning, but okay. don't start without me. All right. Um Soka, we just did a commercial for it. It was my first alcoholic beverage. It's my last. It was my last. It might be my last. It's so good. It mixes with anything and it, it's great straight. Whether you're at a festival, a tailgate, or maybe relaxing after midterm, Soko is the ready for anything whiskey. It's packed with flavor and makes a mean SoCo sour. SoCo Black has just the right balance of sweetness wrapped in smoke flavor for those who like their whiskey bold. So it goes good with anything and it goes good straight, neat, or iced. Try a SoCo Sour Shot today. They're so easy to make. One-third SoCo, two-thirds sour mix. Done. It's the best cocktail. It's the easiest cocktail. Times change and so does what we drink. But not for me, because I've been drinking it for 11 years. Make a more tasteful choice and choose SoCo. That was good. There we you go. did a good great. job with that. That was great. There we go. I love I think we SoCo. have a promo code. No, it's just a general. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. See more cool stuff from SoCo. Get on board. Mm -hmm. I like that. I don't think I've ever tried SoCo. What is going on outside? There's, There's the happy hour. Theatrics? It's the, the full-on happy, happy hour, hour upstairs. Yeah. 
Were well, you not aware of this? It's a festival. I mean, I heard it, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it's a big happy hour. There's only one guy dressed up, and he has lederhosen on. I saw. I walked by his desk earlier, and he was in the I editing saw, bay, and there, the he e was the only one the only dressed one, up. He took, oh, he's what the only one. He took the long memo. Be. Yeah, yeah. we got one of those corporate ask emails, like you know, we're having a party, like dressing up mm. isn't mandatory but encouraged. Well, did you see um, what the winner of the costume contest gets? Yeah, we talked about this kind of extensively on KS Radio. Yeah, yeah, well, we have no crossover of audience. <laughs> oh, 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 I wasn't saying let's no reason. No, 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 I'm saying I mean, you have was, people that listen. That we was the a, first thing I brought up, too, where I was like, look, I, I get we are, we're definitively a corporate company now. That's That that was the that ship has sailed. I didn't. The, the, so the thing, the party in the office doesn't surprise me so much. The shocking aspect of it. The winner gets... A gift card to the Barcelona Sports Store. No way. Yes, dude, 50 bucks. Check, that has to be on purpose. Check, check the fucking email, bro. That has to be on purpose. No, no, that's no but real. like that's, that's, that's I know, self-awareness. No, right? it's not. No, it, it, we have, we're in an office like riddled. Uh, with free merch? With yeah. our own merch. Well, what you have to do if you want merch that we don't have lying crumpled on the floor, you ask. And then you just get it. <laughs> you just get it. Just dude, get it. people like, have said that. We're like, oh, I bought this. Like, what do you mean you bought it? Yeah. Why don't you, you just ask someone for it? Yeah. It's it's a pretty, and I guess maybe that's different for people on the third floor, but like, I don't know, any content person. But $50 to the Barstool store, store won't even get you uh, your sweatpants, right <laughs> yeah. you son of a bitch, that I bought to get Clemmer, <laughs> so to prevent said. Clemmer from being eliminated in the first round of the competition. Mm -hmm. You did what? I bought uh, your sweatpants with code Clemmer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Good guy. Well, thanks. <laughs> Wait, so there's one guy who dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's leader hosen. Yeah. No, there's a, people, there's a couple other people. There's a couple people. There's a well, Frank dressed up, but he just put a mask. on. Frank just put a mask on. There was a guy in production. How'd you know it was Frank then? That's Doug's actually made that joke. He's like, you think they'll know it's you, Frank? And he's like, uh, all right. <laughs> like, mm. PFT goes. Frank just made me gasp. <laughs> um, there is another guy, but he is. It's I love how you whispered that like this isn't recorded. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, there's another guy who is dressed as Hopper from Stranger Things, oh. but it's Hopper season two, like Hawaiian shirt, mustache Hopper. Oh, that's, that's, that's Corey Hopper. Rutledge. He, that's just how he dresses. It's yeah. not Rutledge. It's a different guy who sits oh. over by production. I work. I walk by all the time. I don't know his name, though. And like I was like, damn, I got this all like Hopper. But I know that was Hopper's bigger season. So yeah. I felt bad. I was like, he might just be a bigger dude in a Hawaiian shirt. Oh. So I didn't say anything. Gotcha. And then I, I quietly asked Nick Hamilton, and he went, no, no, no. He's dressed as Hopper. And I went, okay. <sighs> that, in that case, he's nailing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's right. kind of a sigh of relief. Yeah, right. You yeah. never want to make that mistake. You did the right move. But you never want yeah. to choose a costume where you're not quite sure. <laughs> right. yeah. I used to work at GNC, and this girl, this woman. Is, you used to too? work at GNC? Yeah. What yeah. the hell? I did, too. The uh, This woman came up. She only spoke Spanish. She only didn't speak English. And she kept like asking me about vitamins and her stomach, like she was relatively skinny. Her stomach was like, and I naturally brought her to prenatals. Yeah. And she oh. was like, not pregnant. Very no. not pregnant. Ain't no way. I thought I was being so helpful. Not pregnant. Eating and good. she was like ran out of there so pissed off. It was really bad. You can't get mad. I mean, you like, can't get mad. You can't get mad. Like you're, you're you got to know. If someone randomly came to you in the middle of the street and was like, hmm, you pregnant? But if you're asking for yeah. vitamins, you're in a GNC, you're going to do she your best. She got the roundest belly, but the smallest features. <laughs> it made no sense. She must have just been like starving. I have no idea. Maybe no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> like an ASPCA commercial. Is that for? <laughs> I mean, or that's those are dogs. What is the one for? Oh, fuck. What's the one for? I, I, you know where you Sarah McLaughlin. No, yeah, that's no, the that's dogs. dogs. Too. The dogs too? Yeah. Ah, damn. Why do we know the dog one? I thought people won. That's how we're conditioned. Man. Yeah. That's fucked up. The uh, if if we can give you a piece of advice, and maybe I won't speak for Ken Jack, I'll speak for myself. If you're ever Rudy, you might want to listen up to this. Okay. Uh, if you're ever going into a GNC. Do your own research before you get it. Don't listen to a word we say. <laughs> I lied dude, so much. You guys oh, lied? All that, the time. Because like, like, you have a fucking uh, well, commission. Uh, commission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just said whatever gave me commit. Because you don't get commission on everything. So just like some brands give you commission, some don't. Why'd so you single like, out Rudy and not Kyle? Kyle's big. Kyle, that is true. Yeah. I honestly said Rudy was in my in my in my peripheral. Mm, I, yeah. I Kyle looks fucking huge. I said him, I said there that before the show even started. And I, and I said, you like, yeah, you like I've been working on this for a year, like every day. I don't take days off. And you like showed up one day with just gigantic biceps and like, it, from that from nowhere. It's it's uh I think Rudy called, called me fat, fat. He called me chubby. I, yeah. I, I did was, not I said you are fat ripped. I said you're <laughs> not nice. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not no, no, nice. If I can clarify something. But no when when we were at G when I was at GNC I, I was in good shape and people would ask me like what's the best pro the I was like I was like I don't know, fucking hydroxycut gives me a great dude, commission. Always hydroxycut. <laughs> always hydroxycut, dude. dude and I, Does I, that like, just make you shit? Just it's a diuretic mm -hmm. to a degree. 
I, but, I it has it, that uh, uppers like that don't really do anything to me. Okay, it is like like caffeine doesn't even do anything to me either. Um, so I don't really know. It would just kind of I would I would take it. I lost weight on it. I don't really know exactly what it did to. I was skinny, and I would just tell people I lost forty pounds on hydroxycut, <laughs> and it worked like a charm. I mean, you could be fat and still say that. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. I was forty pounds more. <laughs> That's true. I never thought about that. Um. Kyle, can you get into your awful morning? Because I've been it, it was, salivating it, it, it at the wasn't, thought. It's not crazy. It's just the same thing happened. I went to the gym. I'm in the subway station. I get to the gym on Canal Street a little bit. You go pretty kind of far. It's a short subway. But that's far. Place. Subway to the gym? That's dedication, But bro. it's short. It's short. It's Is that the nearest minutes. Planet Fitness? It's not the nearest, but it's the, the only adequate one. The 14th Street one is that's uh, a disaster. Zone. It's a It's a disaster. I get there. I put my headphones in. The left ear, not working. Not working. Yeah. That's worse than both not working. But then it, it's not working in the sense that it's completely muted. It, it'll keep like it'll keep cutting uh, in and out. Staticky. Uh -huh. And it, I like went into a fit. I went into a little <laughs> fit, and I said like I'm not going to work out without this. It just drove me crazy. Subway back to my apartment. Put my hands in my pocket. Don't have my key to my apartment. <laughs> Don't have my, my girlfriend is, the, oh. the, the, I'm about to, no issues other than one thing. And you know what it is. Yeah. When I, my apartment is two doors. You got to get through both. So you need to buzz <laughs> long enough to get through both. <laughs> Her only issue is she, she, she never quite does it or like she doesn't hold the button 70 long enough. of the time. Yeah. It doesn't long enough. Kind of makes me upset. You said you've stormed out and not returned for the night because she has not held the button. Well, this time I'm in position like a sprinter. I'm like, I'm going to go as fast as possible just to like make sure like sometimes you can be like lackadaisical or sluggish going in th through the first one. I sprinted through the first one. Didn't make the second. Is she doing it on purpose? So I was going back to get a, my second pair of headphones, earbuds wired that I have. So I didn't get in. So I said, fuck it now. I'm not, I'm not, not doing this. You were one door away. Not doing this. Not doing this. <laughs> Looked up. The only open, it was like seven. Wait, you're at your apartment door and you decide it's not worth buzzing again. You were just too mad. Yeah. Cause what, what, when you hear that buzz, it's like you lost. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that buzz when you miss a question wrong in trivia or like when you miss a shot, then the game's over. It's a buzz. So I, I it wasn't like I was upset with her. I was just mad. At myself, you feel defeated. You feel frustrated. Um, it was like seven fifty eight. So there was one open like AT and T store, but it was in Times Square. Oh, no. oh my god! Get the fuck out! So I'm like, all right, I need headphones to work out. I need it. Um, <laughs> you put yourself story. into all of these situations. So, so I go to that one, and at this point, I'm I'm like raging mad. It doesn't seem that bad, I guess, when I say it. But so I'm like, I'm gonna record this interaction just in case, like, because I feel like I'm gonna get pissed off. <laughs> and let's see. You recorded your interaction. So I walk into the AT and T store near Times Square. Let's see. Hey, you saw uh, Apple earbuds, like the headphones. Yeah. So I just said, do you sell Apple yeah. earbuds? Yeah, was, like yeah. the headphones. Yeah. Good question. She said, yes. Then it's like a two-story AT&T store. So I followed her downstairs. We're walking downstairs, walking downstairs, walking downstairs. Any specific one that you want. That, There's two I'm options. not picky so. at all. I'm not picky at all. I just want to listen to music by orally. Both ears. Yeah. That's, yeah. And then I answer nothing specific. Okay. The wire? Yeah. We don't have it. Oh, no. The wire, she asks? We don't have it. <laughs> okay. What do you have? The, uh, the earbuds. What do you have? She answers the earbuds. If you remember, I walked in and asked, do you have any of the Apple earbuds? <laughs> no, they do have the earbuds, but they didn't have it. So I say, fuck it. And I walk, I just say, I'm going to work out. I'm going to do a quick workout. I don't need headphones. When I'm like lifting, like, especially on the Smith machine squats, <laughs> 295, I, I'm nice. not even like paying attention to the, the music. 
So I go do a set, pull something in my chest. <laughs> like the wind knocks out of me. Um, and I'm writhing in pain. Everyone's looking, but like they're not, I'm not like writhing enough for them to like come check on me. They're just looking at me. So it's worst case scenario. I storm out, fuck this, get on the subway. I'm in Times Square. And I'm like writhing in pain. I have to be horizontal. I can barely like in the sit. gym. It's gone now. It was just like a tear or something. Jesus. Yeah. That was not something that goes away. <laughs> Ray Lewis. Yeah, no, I've done it, it before. Away. It was just, it was just <laughs> severe fucking pain. And I'm just on this subway. It's kind of crowded, but I get a seat. Still in pain. And uh, this, this guy walks in. Are you recording this guy too? And he starts speaking in threes. Shouting in threes. Everything he shouts, he says it three times. Um, and I'm just so pissed to be in Times Square. Everyone else is too, but this guy comes on, stands right next to me. Where the f- <laughs> you have, I think you have a little bit of an anger problem. I do, yeah. And then, I, like, I think okay. you're kind of into this it. This guy, yeah. and then he just keeps screaming. Times Square. That's two. Times Square. Times Square. Good morning, I'm Good morning, I'm Good morning. He says that three times. New York City. New York City. There's a third. Yeah. So did that break you? This is- <laughs> Why are you recording everything? Now? I, I, I don't. Yeah, I think I just have anger. You're an OCD issues. homeless yeah, you man. You certainly have yeah, anger issues. I guess that's normal, but um. <laughs> so, um, where'd you go after that? Yeah, where did you go? The, the day was over. <laughs> the day was over. Uh, no headphones. Uh, and I don't, I'm pretty silent on the yak, I think. Yeah. Um, so that ruined your day? Yeah. Or it just ended your day? It's, it was more, it was, he was jolly. He was fine. It was the, the headphones, dude. <laughs> I think the headphones, one of, it's, it's the one, the thing that everyone uses. Uh, not, not everyone. And Every one of us not, is not wearing headphones right now, but you. What, what, have you used headphones today? <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually, yeah, yeah. I actually, yeah. I actually, and today was the first day I had headphones in probably three weeks. I just walk around. But you use them. them? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, well, I mean, I do, <laughs> but not in the last three weeks I haven't. What you? Yeah, yeah, you do. When you travel, you use headphones. No, I, I, that was a thing. I forgot my headphones when I just went to London. But you forgot them. This, it was is basically something you have. I, I, I do not currently own headphones. I'm, I, I've been meaning to get some, and I, I just don't have, you, have you had store. coffee today. I don't drink coffee. Fuck. He's, get, he's getting mad. Whatever. This you do, is just... in, everyone uses headphones. <laughs> I'm not he's saying I mad. don't ever Price, use he's headphones. Get mad. Everyone so uses I'm, I'm, headphones. I don't know. We, we need them. you to do I just have I think in a only sixty percent of adults intake caffeine. Maybe seventy. I actually of that, did. Of that percentage, not all of them. They some of them do Monster, Red Bull. Full throttle. We're not doing five this hour. The percentage of uh, Americans who y- drink coffee is probably forty. No, healthy. Heavens Think of no. all the uh, higher. We're dominated well, we're by children. children. Oh, zero. Children. Yes, yeah, yeah. If we're zero counting children. Yeah. These children are using headphones. I think it's a significant margin. <laughs> we got into a big <laughs> fight. You can't, if coffee used more headphones. You can't get them. You cannot get them. I think not headphones just, are used more for sure. Yeah, not worldwide. You think of places that sell electronics. CVS does. Rite Aid does. Dwayne Reed. Yeah. Target. Um, <laughs> Those are out. Of, you can't even get them there. So you have to go to the only place that sells Apple products and they don't even have them. <laughs> Damn shame. So do you still not have headphones? Um, I have like the backup pair in my apartment. But you just didn't but get it was still can't get into it. It was all yeah. self inflicted though. The principle. Yeah, this feels like in 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 Sunny when uh, Charlie is like listing off his problems. Yeah, and he goes, "Those aren't real problems, Charlie. You made all these problems. Mm. You made that problem. <laughs> it's a win, and it's win not for more places, businesses to sell headphones. <laughs> a lot of places. do. It's so ridiculous. No, a lot of places here's, here's, do here's what? The <laughs> Walgreens right downstairs. <laughs> yeah, no, no Walgreens right does 
not. Yes, they do. They, definitely yes, do. they, they do, do not sell Apple headphones. They don't, no, why like, do you have to have Apple? They, they, because I have an iPhone. But you can get plug you can, it in. Uh, you can get a pair of JVCs that just they'll, they're not great. But then headphones. you have to get the dongle that attaches. <laughs> no, it goes in the eyes. Wireless. I guarantee. You. I guarantee you right now. I have I can, JVC wireless headphones in the KFC Radio Studio that will work on my phone. In the K, you, you have to go. You can't get them from Dwayne Reed. Yeah, I got them. I got them. You can get. You cannot if you need. I got them at Dwayne Reed at Moynihan Train Hall. You can, That's a fact. I'll say it. Uh, you cannot get them here. Like in this. Like you could, could you, can you go downstairs and buy wired headphones? Not for an... I will n- it will not permit me to listen to anything on my iPhone. I kind of want you to try. I disagree yeah. strongly. You have to give it a try. It's the only way... I'll, I'll try. It. We'll, we'll get into this later. We'll do it at the end of the episode. Yes. You'll Halloween. go buy headphones. Halloween. Mm-hmm. Also, when you left what? your apartment, did you... Did, when you st- the, second, the second storm out, did you... What did you tell your girlfriend? You I didn't. You I didn't. We didn't speak said, of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you just never arrived. I came back to later to a like a a, a breakfast, delicious breakfast. <laughs> and I said, and I was like, should I bring this up? Will it? Will anyone benefit from this? No. <laughs> Maturity. 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 <laughs> so that's a happy ending. Uh, and she se- she probably assumed it wasn't me. Like it was maybe she yeah, assumed yeah, yeah. it was that's someone else. The second she pisses you off, are you going to bring this up? Didn't, didn't p- she didn't well, no, piss on, me on, off. On another was, occasion. I lost. Are you going to sit I should on have this? been faster. <laughs> through both doors. I should have broken like human wreck. I should have <laughs> transcended the human mm. ability and stormed through both doors in one second. <laughs> that's on me do you feel like she'll hear this now yeah yeah no yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a diss on her it's on me now a word from our sponsor better help can be tough to train your brains to stay at home in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life kyle but when you learn to find your own solutions there's no better feeling kyle uh i use it and it helps me you know just get over things faster and look at me. I'm mentally sound. Problem solver over here. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash new today to get 10% off your first month. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash new. Um, Ken Jack. Some cruise time. Would you like to do your fictional crew? So awesome. for those at home, it is the best fictional crew that you want to open a haunted house with if you were the proprietor of a haunted house what would you want your crew to be yeah so when you were saying cruise this whole episode you thought you, you thought like on a cruise yeah. i thought like maybe our all our crews were going on a cruise i knew uh, i knew i had to come with rudy, rudy, so rudy did last week as well you did too okay. you're in thank good you. you're in good company <laughs> okay that's okay <laughs> yeah. hockey players me and you. man me yeah. and you babe yeah a <laughs> couple alphas <laughs> two two alphas that okay. thought cruise <laughs> um all right yeah so either way it's our halloween crew it's our halloween yeah. crew you know haunted house who you want yeah but i i have fights i prepared a fictional cruise like a Oh you! Shit. Oh oh! See, I I just had a group of people. No, that's but good. I just thought that's maybe good. they were going to end up on a cruise at some point. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah they could. Yeah, it could be a haunted party. house on the water. That, particularly, has scary. that been done? Yeah, no, haunted no, no. cruise. Ooh, that's cool. That's Ghost cool. ship. I love that movie. Oh yeah, that first scene where they all get their heads cut off. Yeah, and I think there's boobs. Yeah, Ghost ship. I feel like I've seen it, but I can't really recall. They lose like a wiring, and it cuts everybody's heads yeah. off standing yep, up. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> All right, fictional crews. I did mine a little bit differently. Sure. Um, instead of five, I have four. And that is a little different. My haunted house is a little different than a conventional one because instead of walking through one level, there are multiple because my haunted house is a tower of terror, oh. which I think would be cool if anyone actually wants to make one. Uh, and each floor is designed to make one of us break. Oh, shit. So okay. That is very interesting. <laughs> so imagine, if you will, that we all meet up at the ground floor of this tower and go inside together. The muffled sounds of Aerosmith can be heard at the first door before we even enter. As the door opens, bright fluorescent lights blind us for a moment before we get a whiff of cigarettes, fabuloso, and piss. As that flash wears off, we realize that we are standing on tiles and surrounded by porcelain. A sheet on the wall next to us reads, Last cleaned, January 2nd, 2012. Oh no. There is only one way to proceed, and that is through the stall in the middle of the room. We open the door and hear a slight masculine groan. I wrote in here, ask KB to do one. KB, can you do one? A slight? Yeah, masculine slight masculine. Groan. Is a slight groan or slightly masculine? Slight masculine, slight comma masculine groan. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Good. Inside, good. inside stands a built, handsome man who is standing with his true religion jeans laid across his ankles. In his hand is his semi-hard cock, which he is slowly mashing in an attempt to keep stiff. This cock is an ugly thing yeah. that leads to the groin that is covered in wiry thickets of pubes. <laughs> this man zeroes in on fights. Oh. In a low growl, he says, oh. I've been waiting for you, baby. Oh, no. What? No, is this It becomes O'Reilly's? clear that this man is the one Fights sucked off <laughs> in Hurricane O'Reilly's. No, what a nightmare. He oh. grabs Fights by the shoulders and brings him to his knees. <laughs> I was a uh, fucking, she was wearing true religions. Come on, dude. Uh -huh. Go on without me, Fights tells us through tears. <laughs> it's time on. to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> KB, KB, Nick, and I remain. It's we, time to finish yeah. this. I we, thought it was Roethlisberger. <laughs> <laughs> we arrive at the second floor and there's not a lot to see. The walls have a few decorations like a Savage Garden poster from their album Affirmation. Mm -hmm. A shelf with a full set of Generation 1 Bionicles and a broken bop it. There is also an alarming amount of model trains. Oh, In the God. middle of the room, though, is a lazy boy. And next to the chair is an end table with a bright yellow Game Boy color loaded with Pokemon Red. I have a feeling this might be me. <laughs> like a backpack kid when the all. school period ends, Nick sprints through the hall and sits on the <laughs> chair. Excited, he boots up the game while wondering what's so scary about it. As he starts playing, he realizes that he's having a lot of trouble catching Pokemon. In fact, he's not able to catch a single one. He reads a note on the table that informs him of his curse. In this version of the game, he only has a 1% chance of catching any Pokemon with any Pokeball. Ain't no way. We try to tell Nick to move on, but his Nicky's special brain tells him that he still has a chance to catch them all. So we're forced to leave him behind. Good God. <laughs> and as me and KB ascend the stairs to the next floor, we read a note on the door that informs of the bad news. There's actually a 0% chance. That he catches any Pokemon. Oh, wow. What a twist. <laughs> we open the door and are greeted by this music, which I need to play. Of course. All right. This is... <laughs> so that's the music we're hearing as <laughs> okay. we enter the room. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. And this is me and you. This is me and you right now. Got it. The moment we set foot in the room, you and me, me and Kyle, we feel a slight breeze rush behind us. Our wallets were just stolen by a short, cretinous, hairy goblin wearing an Adidas tracksuit. As he runs off, cackling to himself, we look around the room. More of these hairy, ugly, sticky-fingered trolls fill the room, and every one of them is flanked by the hottest, big-tittied woman you've ever seen in your life. Hmm. The smell of stewed cabbage and onions overpowers me, and I am forced to rest on a tiny-ass car that is up on stilts because the tires have been stolen. I ask one of the creatures what's going on in this place. The little freak tells me in a language that is as guttural as it is ancient— and I don't understand a word he's saying. The one word is clear, though. Romania. Two of them grab me to settle a debate. Which one of us is more racist against Serbs? And I'm stuck there, and KB is forced to move on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me. That, that, that is a room <laughs> built for you. Yeah. Kenjak hates Serbs. Yeah, you're a big anti-Serb guy? No, I'm an anti-Romanian guy, anti which is why this is my, my, my nightmare scenario. It's KB. Fair so far, okay. He opens the door and is immediately hit with the smell of body odor mixed with PVC rubber foam. A mist envelops the center of the room, and as oh. he takes his first steps in, he realizes that the floor has a little bounce to it. The mist begins to clear, and he looks up to see an introduction banner through the veil. It says, 2015 Southern Scuffle. Oh, no! As, K <laughs> as KB looks down, the mist clears to reveal a man in the center of the circle. That man stats stands at 5'7 with a mane of greasy brown hair and a matching beard. His Wait. ripped muscles are popping. You only cover. How do you know about this? By a bright That's yellow. That's barely online. Bare, is, barely it, is it fucking Cole Mendenhall? By a bright yellow unitard <laughs> no that one reads knows I Wyoming. And his name you, is Cole you find that Mendenhall. <laughs> how'd you find that bracket? And his only goal <laughs> is to make KB tap out. <laughs> oh my God. You lost to Cole Mendenhall? That was the tournament that like made me like not, because I, I had a fifth year of eligibility because I took a red shirt. I was like, I'm done after this. Because <laughs> of Cole Mendenhall. He retired you? Southern scuffle. No, Cole Mendenhall beat me in the first round. Um, first round? How many rounds are there in, in the Southern Scuffle? It's it was like a sixty-four man bracket. So oh, this that's dude, a lot. that's a, a lot of wrestling. By the way. Oh, oh wow. wow! Yeah, he He's, looks like a tougher you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was pretty. good. He wasn't like that good, but uh, he beat me five to like the three. I think it's worse than that. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was five to three, and I would put any amount of money. I remember all my matches and their scores. 
So that's the end of my haunted house. Wow, that was beautiful. I thought I was going to get into the clay. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I can't believe the true religion jeans, bro. Is I th- that accurate? The true religion had me thinking, this is Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> Dude, that would be hilarious if Ben Roethlisberger was the dick you sucked yeah. there. Yeah. And that's how, like, the story you never doing here in June. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No one goes to hurricanes in June. <laughs> it's prime dick it's, sucking. It, it is a, uh, that is a winter bar. <laughs> uh, that's good. That, Ken Jack, that was beautiful. Now, Ken Jack, you have the dozen. I do uh, have the dozen. Like five. Yeah, so yeah, thank you for that. Set. Of course. Thank you. That was awesome. Awesome. that was incredible the, writing. The that was that was yeah, really, that was really beautiful. Good. That was beautiful. I that is a lot about Cole Nevin. God damn, that was you didn't you didn't mention how I beat Branson Ashworth, who was actually the top ranked of Wyoming. Dude, wrestler. beating a guy named Branson Ashworth in wrestling is nothing. <laughs> Branson Ashworth. to God, he, Branson Ashworth that? hears this. Was he wearing a monocle? Is he that Jared Kushner's God, stepbrother? Yeah. Like Branson Ashworth. He was bro. Wearing, from Yeah, you probably dude. grabbed him by his ascot. <laughs> <laughs> Wyoming. Yeah. Branson, I can't believe you lost the match. <laughs> 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 We're so disappointed in you, Branson. <laughs> Cole Mendenhall, yeah, you're going to get your ass kicked by Cole Mendenhall. Well, Ashworth is better. That's what I'm saying. Beat one. Like, <sighs> disagree, oh, man. Disagree. We'll agree to disagree on that, yeah. KB. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're at Barstool. So the yeah. theme of mine is New York City Bro, sports. First, wait. This is my, these are my jokes. Okay. My say, you guys all have way more written down than that. No, 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 no. Okay. The theme of mine is New York City sports. All right. And I want everybody listening, everybody here to imagine you are going through this house alone, okay. solo. Okay. I just, I don't know how this is going to, I'm going to string these together. So bear with me. I'm bearing. Thank you. You walk onto the porch of an old Victorian style, musty home. In front of you, to the left of the door, you see a very feminine silhouette standing stoically like a British guard, not moving. You guys all picturing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Intrigued, you decide to take a step closer. You want to enter this home. There's a mysterious draw to it. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you move further from the steps and you near the entrance way. Your eyes start to adjust to the darkness. And you notice standing next to the door is Madison Beer. Yeah. All right. Huh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Fights, no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I know who Madison Beer is. Wow. Oh, Wowza. Brother, you got some homework right. to do. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> Boys, but wait. As you are focused on her, you see in the corner of your corner of your eye, on the other side of the threshold of the door, another Madison Beer. There's two. Right. Ain't no way. <laughs> so we have Madison Squared Garden. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Okay. 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 I'm waiting for the scary part. She, <laughs> she winks at you. She beckons you both. Of, she, both, both of them okay. beckons you closer. Holy yeah. shit! Not only are you about to fuck Madison Beer, your cock, your little cock is throbbing. Not only are you about to fuck Madison Beer, yeah, you're about to fuck two on a porch. That's kind of sexy. Okay. We're still on. We're not even in the home. Not even in the home. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Your cock is ready. She beckoned both of them. Beckon you closer. Nothing can ruin this. Oh no. It's the Knicks. Two of me. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Just one Nick would end up fucking them both, but two? <laughs> oh no, it's the Knicks. <laughs> She's distracted being fucked by the Knicks. It's scary how good he's fucking. I guess how well he's fucking. <laughs> Superman fucks good. You, yeah, nah, so you're here. She was you. Haunted house. You were coming quickly. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> so both the Knicks Fuck, are, I hate are, this. are fucking Madison beer. Yeah. You're, you enter the house. Maybe there's more Madison beers inside. You look around, the floorboards are creaking, but you hear, you step, it creaks, you step, it creaks, you stay still, you hear louder creaking. What? I'm not moving. What could this be? The Mets, Chrissy Mets from This Is Us. (laughs) She wants to fuck. Yeah. Your cock's hard. You don't want to do that because, well, she has a boyfriend. His name's Bradley. You don't want to ruin that relationship. And if you're a girl listening, 
pretend it's the Islanders and it's Hurley from Lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice of you to do that. It's, it's the Mets. Your cock's hard and you're horrified yeah. uh, because the old adage is true. If you don't use it, you lose it. And you don't want to yeah. lose your wiener. God, no. Heavens, no. The re- and the a wienerless man though, yeah. might as well be a woman. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're sprinting. For, well, you're walking kind of fast from Chrissy Metz. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you enter another door. Are you still hard? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good question. You're looking to fuck. Just trying to get the landscape. Because <laughs> the Knicks taught you some new moves that you want to use. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. There it is. You're in. You step into a room. You walk for it's pitch black. You walk forward. Ow, hit a wall. Turn. Ow, hit a wall. You're in a labyrinth. You reach for the walls because you remember the story of you just grab you. You put your hand on the right wall and it'll get you through the, the labyrinth, right? Like the like the uh, mythology. Hmm. You reach for the wall. It's covered in cocks. It's covered in human cocks. You're in a willy maze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This is where all of the dicks yeah. went. This is where all the unfucked dicks went. Oh, I got to I got to get through this. So you're running through your. Yeah. It's like you're hitting all the hard cocks. It's making that noise. They're all hitting each other. Yeah, but Fidelberg, you know how it would sound. Yeah. Like, a, like a bike when you put the, the yeah, card, like a in, card the in a spoke. Yeah. Mm. I was picturing it like sounding like a xylophone. <laughs> yeah, like a glock and a cock and spiel. <laughs> you're running yeah. through. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh. You, you're running with your mouth open because you're panting. Yeah. Finally, you get to the end. You get to the end of the labyrinth. You step through. Mm, there's a droning. Mm. You look around, surrounded by other people. You're in the fuselage of a plane, of a jet. Yeah. Everybody's panicking. What do we do? What do we do? You reach into your phone, your iPhone. You pull it out. It's not an iPhone anymore. It's a Motorola Razor. The date is September 11th, 2001. And you're hearing everybody on the plane devising a plan. We got a Meadowland. We got a Meadowland. You're on flight 93. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. oh, no. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot wait to see how you land this plane. Uh, mm-hmm. We know how it lands. <laughs> uh, I'm it, at the store. It crashes we, and you die. Yeah. <laughs> the, the end. Yeah. <laughs> we got a meadow land. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that's that's my haunted house. Jesus. Pretty pretty fucking scary. Yeah. Uh huh. Thank you. It's a psychological thriller. It really was. It really really yeah. was. I was not given proper instructions for this assignment. <laughs> uh, I want to be very fucking clear no, no. about that. No, it, you'll be fine. Trust me. No, I'm not going to be fine. I'm just going to read my five, and then you guys can guess what the overarching theme is. Okay. Because uh, I didn't write a story. No, no, no. You I, don't I was have told to write a bring story. three to five guys. You don't have to write yes. a story. All right. I got three to five. I got a haunted house of three to five people. Uh-huh. I'm not going to tell you the overarching theme first. It's very basic. Three to five people. Five people. Danny DeVito. Okay. Papa John. Snooky. Uh, Donatella Versace. Rick Pitino. Italians. Yeah. Italians. <laughs> Dude, I, I was fucking stumped. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. I got that. Yeah. I was fucking. It is a haunted house full of fucking Italians. Hey, I'm fucking scaring here. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? fuck? You're supposed to fucking jump when uh, I was yeah. Dude, when, when, when fucking Ken Jack started with a, a bathroom stall, I was like, is he going to take Patino on me right now? <laughs> <laughs> dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Imagine First like. guy takes one of my guys. Papa John is like just recognized enough if he like scared you in a haunted house you'd be like oh! <laughs> but like I'd still be like was that fucking Papa John yeah. Yeah. that fuck? would be the ultimate like prank video like Papa John in a haunted house just to seeing like yeah. is there a level of fame can you be famous enough to where you can't scare anybody no. like if it was Leo jumping out your first thought would be like that's Leo no because you ever seen the video of, of Leo scaring Jonah Hill yeah but Jonah Hill seems excitable yeah. <laughs> Jonah Hill is very excitable he's yes. jumpy yeah be exceptionally scary if you were a, a black person. As an, an Italian house, they're not. You're not allowed in an Italian no, household. Because, of, because of <laughs> a gay, gay person, you're really. Oh my up. god! Because of Papa John. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right, right. That's that's that was kind of the part that got him into the haunted house where Have you ever seen that video of a guy, he's a black guy scaring people in like China, but he was wearing yes. a mask and he scared people and they weren't afraid then he lifted the mask and they were scared black. of the black yeah. person? Yes. No. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They have horror stories of like China and South Korea. Like they're the most racist. Yes. Oh. I've, I've, yeah. I mean, Donnie, well, didn't Donnie so I'm watching get jobs to be a white Koreans. person? Yeah, he got a job. It was, it was called just, a white monkey. And just he was pretend just a doctor. to be a white guy. Well, he didn't have to pretend that. Well, he's true. Good point. Good point. <laughs> pretend to be someone employed who's also a white guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's pretend to be a white guy? Who would Donnie would that? show up in white face? They're like, no, you already, <laughs> you already had the job. Take man. that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had Dude, the gig. You don't have to fake the resume. An Italian haunted house would be would rock. Yeah. <laughs> Italian. Oh no, I'd hate an Italian haunted house. What are, that, what that, are, that could be a funny. He's sketch. so loud. Yeah. It wouldn't. Mm. I, it wouldn't even be like that's that scary. I don't. Uh, I mean, if Devito came crawling up too, that'd be scary. Donatella Versace looks like a living witch. What does she? Is she all pumped up with a oh, full yeah. of? Yeah. yeah she is she alive? Yeah. Which vibes? Her name's Donatella. Yeah. I didn't know Versace was like eponymous to a, a woman. Yes, it is. She's the founder of it. I believe and so. she's just she's hideous. She. I mean, she just looks oh, like yeah. she just looks like a witch. How she's old reflective. Is she? How old? Like, I mean, like, if she She's, comes up, like, run up on you. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, Vera Wang, on the other hand, is 73, <laughs> looks. Dude, imagine. Like, Don well. Versace might be the scariest possible thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, she could I bite know, a wall. I don't, I don't know, know if, you look, if you've look if you seen 30 Rock. She looks like the Hill Witch. Yeah, that's tough. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that would be a. Like, and you chose not only. This might be an uh, redundant. You chose scary Italians. I chose. Not all scary Italians. I sold. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I chose either unique looking. Or yeah, that's what I'm bad saying. people Italians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as soon as I thought Devito, Snooki came to mind right away. She's just female Devito, and then Donatella Versace is just again a witch. Patino can't fuck very good. I, don't know, I figure Patino comes out of a bathroom stall at some point. Yeah. Um. And then and then uh, Papa John just calls everyone the N word, even if <laughs> you're white, even if you're white, yeah, it, and it still somehow yeah. hurts. Don, yeah. it, weirdly enough, Papa John doesn't discriminate. No, every, everybody. Every, is everyone that. can catch yeah. the word. Everybody is that. It's never happened to me. I think I may have caught like a <laughs> like a lighthearted soft A, but I've never. I've so never I got I got victim of an ER, and I, I've never I been. I think I would be traumatized. I'd yeah. be very taken aback. I would be taken aback. Um, when I've been called that word, I was with some black friends, and it was followed by y'all, and then soft A. Yeah, and I I like to feel like I was being talked to, but <laughs> everyone butt neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> y'all and Nick. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Close. it's a slant. Yeah, I could, I could. Or you just got confused and you were with everyone in that group was called Nick. Yeah, and then the plural, the yeah. the group, yeah. the collective form of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come! <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> there goes the fucking neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> what a because like even homeless people won't say it. No, the hard R. Like, yeah. they, they won't. They will do everything. They won't say it. That's how. What is going? Somebody is yeah. screaming out, wailing, wailing. Party no, out there. Even the crazy. homeless won't say it, and that's how you know it's. That's how you know it's bad. It's. It's not. Yeah. They're like I'm yeah. gonna lose my job. Like, yeah. I don't even have a job. Yeah. I can't even get canceled. But. <laughs> Dude, canceling a, a a bum is hilarious. That would be so yeah. like, Whoa! You know what that guy said? Yeah. <laughs> it did. We. Did, it happened the other day. In a sense, uh, uh, Dante, our boy Dante the Don, had a tweet where it was it was quote tweeting. Antonio Brown a few weeks ago when he I think he tweeted the picture of him and Giselle yeah maybe and and Dante quote tweeted it, it said like where is cancel culture now when we <laughs> act, when we actually need someone canceled and I was like is hey man he doesn't have a job and he doesn't seem to care that we don't like what he's saying like you can't cancel someone like that like you can't be like no why isn't anyone canceling the Joker yeah <laughs> it's like, I don't know everyone's voiced their opinion we don't seem too happy with him and it doesn't seem to bother him at all you're on the chapter of like uh, the Holocaust in history class just like we're putting this guy in books now yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're just writing about him yeah. we're giving him a platform yeah <laughs> uh See, we got banter from the Italians. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> it was. Thank you. Somehow we, yeah, we talked about the N word. Yeah, we. Well, That's the Papa natural John. progression. It was a pretty quick. Yeah. Pretty quick. 
uh, there's, there's it was not many, a hop, skip, uh, and a jump. Yeah, a there's not six degrees of separation <laughs> between that. No. No. By no means. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I'd love to hear your crew. Let's go. After we talk about the Ridge Wallet. I use the Ridge Key Wait. holder. It's fucking awesome. Right. I feel cool. I feel tactical. The Ridge Wallet's tactical. Holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors. I like the Burnt Titanium. Kyle, you also have the Burnt Titanium. It kind of pissed me off because I got that one first, and there's 29 other ones you could choose from. Chose from. Uh, it's RFID blocking technology. Go to Ridge.com and use code UNTOLD for 10% off your order. Yeah. How many keys does it hold? Uh, I think up to s- eight, seven. That's pretty sick. Six. It says six right here. Yeah. It's... But it's, I have thinner it's, it's keys. The best wall, it's the best wallet. It's the best wallet. Unless you're like paying $1,000. Still, Still apply wh- the best. Yeah, yeah why do you, why do you no, always do that? No <laughs> why do you always do Because I'm trying to like add some like real like authenticity to this. What, what could a $1,000 wallet provide? I'm saying that a thousand dollar wallet would just be a boy you hired to carry your shit. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just saying whatever the most. Expensive Dude, that was my wa- first job. I was a rich man's yeah. wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was good. That was damn good. Um, Money mule. Yeah. I, need, I just wore yeah. cargo pants. <laughs> Do you have your crew, yes, Kyle? Yes. I'm very curious. Mine is a haunted pyramid, a haunted food pyramid. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> oh um, there'll be each food category of the pyramid will have its own compartment in the in the haunted pyramid. So the first one, well, well it's fruits, vegetables, fats, dairy, yeah. meats, uh, wheat, and like grain. the grains. Yeah. Shit. Start with fruits. Sure. Sp- and each one is spooky. It's not just fruits. Yeah, yeah. Spooky fruits. All right. So this man, this is in my crew. He's a menacing elderly. It's or he is a menacing elderly creature with saggy, discolored yellow skin from a list of blood board illnesses. He has shaggy hair, wears flashy wide frame glasses, but he's still undeniably yellow. Everyone assumes he's dressed as a banana or a rotten banana for Halloween. And he gets really pissed. He says, no. I'm just a, a yellow man. Uh, my first spooky fruit is Sir Elton Jaundice. Um, who just sings, I'm a yellow man. And he's just yellow. Um, and he has a lot of help. Wait, what's the song he sings? He always just says, I'm a yellow man. <laughs> instead of piano? Uh, or no, that's rocket. Billy Joel. Yeah, oh, just, instead of yeah, Rocket Man. He's, he's very See, I, you matter of fact yeah. about the fact that he's yellow. He's not trying to veil it with his like. So he has a song called Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, but you yeah, decided no. to go with, <laughs> I'm a yellow very man. very elderly. And, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, he just can say, I'm a yellow man. He has a lot of helpers due to his illnesses, but one of his aides is another <laughs> Elderly multi-platinum singer with shaggy hair. But this one has like vermin-esque facial features. Hideous. And he tries to cover it in Elton Jaundice's geriatric feces to disguise the fact that he doesn't look like a rat, a hideous rat. Um, Using poop to disguise ugliness. That's Sir Elton Jaundice's partner, Blackberry Manilow. Uh, the second fruit. Um, the second fruit, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Black face. Elton got knighted. Black <laughs> Barry got midnighted. <laughs> <laughs> On to the vegetables, the spooky vegetables. This one is like Night of the Living Dead themed, except instead of corpses leaving the graveyard to torment the dead, it's the reverse. It's living creatures invading a graveyard to burrow into the ground and haunt the dead out of jealousy. This creature's legs are gangrenes. Its torso is a rotten, a rotting broccoli floret. And its head is a tombstone, kind of like Diglett. I can get that. Um, yeah. Um, it's Cemetery Shivo, um, <laughs> who's desperately trying to be dead. Uh, and while she's beneath the cemetery attempting to pose as a corpse, she's being attacked by enemies who developed underground tunnels of, sh- of sort to chase her and try to keep her alive. But she's not dead. Yeah. Um, it's... The hairy tube man who is trying to develop a connection with her. Is that like Harriet that is, it is the hairy tube man <laughs> made an underground railroad to track. But you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The hairy, then, yeah, the hairy tube you know, man. And Adam 22 is chasing her with his girlfriend to try to get her to fuck Cemetery Shivo to keep her alive. Jeez. A lot of moving pieces. The third group is Fats and Sweets. Yeah, this one is a bloodthirsty 
and gluttonous royal British zombie who rose from the dead to recolonize India and first enforce all of their residents into servitude as Postmates delivery drivers. She spends every day in her immaculate Mumbai penthouse suite where she orders food around the clock and tortures the delivery drivers who arrive late or mess up her order in the slightest. She's a former queen with blood on her hands, but it's not Elizabeth II. It's Elizo bit the seconds uh, who came from Wales. <laughs> Spooky. Like Edward Scissorhands, her fingers are just Chipotle forks and Wendy's spoons and Wagyu knives. Uh, what? Her long sleeve gown is covered in the blood of the Postmates delivery drivers who aired. Uh, and her partner is Prince fill up <laughs> duke of uh duke of head and burger um so the all, all all of these double as couples costumes yeah of course is, yeah i can't wait fourth. for i can't wait to see uh couples that listen to this be dressed up as that <laughs> uh, the fourth is the dairy category milk yogurt cheese and this is a demented half-dead american billionaire who was exiled to sri lanka after being disgraced for his sexual atrocities while in Sri Lanka, despite suffering from late stage dementia and, con and contracting a horrific skin disease, he still had the money and wherewithal to force young native Sri Lankans into a dentured servitude as a sex slave. It's Robert Kraft Shingles. Kraft Shingles, he's covered in plastic aside from his elderly penis, poking out that's riddled with fluid filled blisters and cysts. And he's <laughs> Jesus, surrounded by. Disavow. He's surrounded by the poor kids of Asia, um, Sri Lankan child laborers who are forced to work on his rash ridden cock like it's the Burj Khalifa oh until it comes God. to fruition, led by Tajiki Palmer, who emigrated from Tajikistan to work on Mr. Kraft's cock. Uh, the fifth is the meats, the fish, the proteins, the yeah. nuts. Sometimes revenge calls for violence, especially when someone or something so close to you is taken. You have to reclaim your title and seek vengeance on the ones who hurt you the most. This member of my crew is a murderous tyrant donning an emerald green junior high prom dress covered in blood and salt water. And she's yielding a harpoon in her arm. This is protein meats and fish. Yeah. This is protein surfer. Lady McBethany Hamilton. Yes. There it is. So of course, she meets fish. Um, yeah. Uh, she may not use her harpoon too often, but she will Shakespeare at anyone who crosses her path. Um, and she, <laughs> she uh, is, uh, the tiger shark, Tony the tiger shark who fled Hawaii and smuggled Bethany's left arm to Tampa, uh, where the tiger shark sold it the dismembered left arm to a subway, a subway franchisee named Lord Byron, inspired by Russell Wilson and the Danger Witch. Lord Byron started selling and marketing the Left Witch, which oh. was a sandwich including Bethany Hamilton's left arm. She's seeking revenge <laughs> and is aiming to kill Lord Byron. Byron Left Witch? Yes. <laughs> Bethany Hamilton arm sandwich. And... I forgot about the last category. I forgot about beans. They're in beans. They have their own category? Well, beans gets its own category. Oh, okay. I feel like that didn't really meet the meat and protein. Um, and this member of my crew is appropriately an Englishman, a misfit British hermit who veils his hauntingly deformed face in traditional Arab headwear. After his couch deteriorated, he took, he took over the Ottoman <laughs> and was never seen with a single woman. Stephen Anthony Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> who had, may have no bitches, but uh, he has a sack of 99 rotten tomatoes that he hurls at anyone who makes fun of him for being an incel. And that's the crew. That's a damn good crew, Kyle. Yeah, that's yeah. quite Beautiful. a crew. Very well you done. Are a, I would love to see uh, somebody try to recreate those costumes. Maybe we could draw those up. Yeah, they're all, they're all, I think they're all doable. You think so? <laughs> three of them three of them were blackface. <laughs> Still doable. Still yeah, doable. It's doable. Depending. Like that's Not assuming that everyone who is gonna do this is white. <laughs> Good point. Fair Good point. Fair play. Yeah. You're a real wordsmith. You are. Not no big words. Doesn't mean that the words have to be big. 
Um, he's your making words. Rudy, do you have an actual crew cruise? I mean, I do have a cruise. Yes. I, I wouldn't mind hearing yeah. your cruise. And then if uh, you, Tyler and Mook could pick the winner. OK, uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize that this was going to turn into a slam poetry episode. Yeah, um, should have. Uh, I should have foreseen that. That's my fault. So um, as you alluded to, I thought when you said uh, fictional cruise, I thought that that meant a ship <laughs> like a carnival cruise. So, uh, but you were nice enough to just let me do that yeah. and live out that fantasy. So that was nice. Um, so my fictional cruise is called the Tom Cruise <laughs> and it is a boat and it's an 883 foot replica of Tom Cruise that floats. Okay. okay. Pretty, uh, the number. Did you look up like the size of a cruise ship or? The exact uh, size of the Titanic. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a rather small boat by today's standards. Yes. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> oh. Who? Oh, what? Who cares? You've never seen the picture of a, the Titanic? It, no, I, my my TikTok algorithm algorithm is all comparing sizes <laughs> yeah. to things. Is yours too? No, I don't oh. use TikTok, but I do like I do like those. Videos. No, I. Uh, yeah, like it's just like this is the size of a lifeboat. This was the Titanic. This is the RMS something else. This is like the yeah. Russian warship. Q QE2. Mine's it buildings. It's space stations. It's everything. Cars. I'll, it's, I'll always watch yeah. those videos on Reddit where it's just like things getting paid. Even if they're fictional things yeah. from movie franchises I've never seen. Like oh, I'll watch I a whole Star Trek thing. Yes. Like, I love the size ones. of the ships. Yeah. I love those And it's ones. just like always captioned, you want to feel small? <laughs> it's like I already do. Yeah. And then like people were like, oh, tr you should have trigger warned my megalophobia. Yeah. <laughs> the, there's so much as a thing. So. <laughs> Want to see a video about a bunch of big shit? Like, you should have told me this was coming. Yeah. There's a cool phobia. It's like the fear of giant objects underwater. Huh? It's crazy. It's like, I'll have to look, I'll have to find it. But yeah, that's a that's not a cool phobia. No, it is because when you look at it, you like, kind of get it. You get it. Yeah. But like, what would entail you ever experiencing that phobia? I guess a whale. You would have to go to the bottom of the yeah, ocean. Well. Okay. Blue whale. Whales are terrific. Yeah. They're terrifying. So the actual size of the whale, like uh at the Museum of Natural History, that's a doozy. You get vaccinated under that whale for free. You can go to the museum for free and get vaccinated under the whale. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh no, you're okay. right. All right. Um who's that? New guy. I'll tell you. I do I, those videos are funny when it's like you want to feel small and then they compare you to fucking buildings. Yeah. yeah. Any like, like building no would make me feel yeah, small. Other than a shed. Um, the, we should put, we should make one of those just like you want to feel small today and it's just like just like yeah. a photo of the sun yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Kyle Kuzma yeah. <laughs> yeah. bigger than you yeah. <laughs> um, much like the Titanic the Tom Cruise is steam powered and the chimney uh, comes out of his ass okay he has big fake ass yeah uh, Tom Cruise having three front teeth fucks with me yeah it's funny. I didn't know that look at his face yeah. or no he has just a he has a middle tooth, it's just right? A middle tooth. Yeah. It's yeah. off centered and it's very weird. It, it, it's a it, once you see, you can't unsee it. No. Those, yeah, it fucks yeah. with your brain mightily. Um, the uh, Tom Cruise also functions as an aircraft carrier if needed. Um, as far as the entertainment goes, uh, rather than having an in-house comedian, uh, there is a nightly improv show similar similar to whose line is it anyway? Uh, they couldn't agree upon a title. Um, right now, they sort of have a working title of the Nautical uh, Citizens Brigade. Rudy, cruise line is it anyway? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, this is, this is, this is them. Not, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Rudy was a part of that operation. <laughs> it would have been I, I, if I, Yeah, no, I mean, I wish you're, I could yeah. told them. They couldn't agree. Though. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If, you, if only you were there to put an end to it. <laughs> exactly. The answer was right in front of them. Uh, it's cruise line, is it anyway? The cast of, it's a cruise line. Yeah, the cast of cruise line, is it anyway? Thank you. Would be uh, Nanette, Andrew Dice Clay, Jeff Foxworthy, and Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. Um, the boat also offers a fully operational gun range, which is the first in the world cruise ship to have that. Uh, they have a Perrier jacuzzi. Beautiful. That would feel awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, hatchet throwing. Uh, they also offer a spelling bee. If you want to partake in that, <laughs> there that. should be like, yeah, instead of bar trivia nights, bar spelling, spelling bee, bees. Yeah. yeah. That would be mm. hilarious to go to. That would be fun. Should we put one of those on? Yeah. That'd be very fun. And yeah. I would go to that over a trivia night. 100%. That'd be super fun. That's why it's on the Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> they also have a fully functioning movie theater on the boat that uh, only plays Rain Man on loop. Uh, there is a Scientology conversion class, mm -hmm. and there is a replica set of Oprah Studio where you can go inside of it 
and jump on the couch and have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, there's also an on-site plastic surgeon who will, in his words, in quotes, will do his best to make you look like Tom Cruise. So there's no guarantee. Okay. Uh, for the food, there's six Hooters on the ship. That's the only food you can have is Hooters. Uh, <laughs> That's 12 titties. It is. And so for the uh, packages that are offered in terms of the ticketing, uh, there is a Top Gun VIP package that allows you to bomb a pod of whales in an F-16. Beautiful. Which that is on the ship. Sick, yeah. As I said, it's a functioning aircraft carrier. The Minority Report package allows surplus refugees from Texas to be transported <laughs> to the cruise where they can stay free of charge if they agree to do odd jobs around the ship. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Rain Man package is reserved for... Wait, Minority Report. They've dropped them off somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Rain Man package is reserved for the neurodivergent patrons. Uh, it includes full amenities and free access to the boat's train horn. Whatever uh, can... Can abled adults play mentally challenged anymore? Because uh, Leo did it. Movies and stuff. Um, uh, who was who was Rain uh, Man? Uh, Sia uh, tried uh, to do Hoffman. a movie, Hoffman. and she tried to like get a regular person to play an autistic girl, and she got. I think she, the last person I to do it was fucked. LaBeouf. No, I think uh, uh, no Johnny Knoxville. No, LaBeouf was on no, a Disney no, Channel movie. No, the most uh, the, the most you're thinking of. Yeah, the most recent one was uh, Affleck. He was, but wait, he played a not Affleck? Oh, he played a autistic guy in The Accountant. Yeah, he's a monster. So the result is, oh, the result, like we're fucking. just having years of just no special needs people being depicted <laughs> in cinema. Well, but I don't know. Autistic is different than like, Leo was full up. Uh, he was he was yeah. whelping and he was he was flailing. No, but that's, what, that's the people who need regular bodied, regular typical people to play. Because like an autistic person can still act well. Yeah. Yes. Whereas someone with like the intellectual intelligence of a four year old, they they they're not going to be able to act on set or behave in any way. I think if you want a movie that like has a normal so person how do you playing them? somebody who has a, a mental disability, you have to balance it out with a uh, having somebody with a mental disability playing like the parent <laughs> or like a normal. Uh, you have to flip yeah. the roles. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry, Rudy. Uh, yeah. Um, and then for any uh, people out there that are agoraphobes, you can purchase the VR package, which will allow you to stay at home and enjoy the cruise via an Oculus headset. So I'm so excited that VR is probably going to be good enough when we're in retirement homes. Just throw me in a tube with like uh, an IV and just put the VR That's, on I, I hadn't thought about that. That's something I, I, I definitely don't want to partake in while I'm uh, be yeah. a healthy optimist. living. In, how dare you, Joey? Uh, healthy living individual. Yeah. But when I'm on death's door, yeah, strap me up and fucking see you later. I agree. It'd be pretty sweet. Do you, we get barged in on a lot. <laughs> it's every episode. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta stop being, we gotta, how do we stop being barged? Uh, start being respected by other people. We should put, <laughs> we should put like spikes on the door or something. Or that. Or a moat. <laughs> or fucking, sp it's either respect or spikes. Yeah. <laughs> I think spikes garner respect. Or a moat. Yeah, for sure. I think I think a moat. Look at like any guy in a Raiders like costume uniform. I'm always like, that's a fucking man. Right yeah, now. I respect yeah. this guy. Motorcycle yeah. helmet. You're a dork for wearing a helmet. Yeah. Spike on it. Game on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A moat would work well too. Oh, a moat. Yeah, because it insinuates that we're rich. Hmm. Moats are rich people things. For sure. Royalty. Yeah. 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 You're right. Tom yeah. Brady had one in Brookline. Did he actually have a moat? I mean, it's very small, but yes, it wasn't like a moat. Moat, but yeah, they, it was like they had like a little bridge you had to cross over. I mean, like you could walk over it, but it was a, it was listed as a moat, which is as, as by, uh, by a real term, You're right. So. Yeah. That is only for the rich. Apology accepted. Yeah. Mm. It'd be funny. Like if they're getting ready to invade and then they do like the scouting report and they're like, all right, did you, did you look at the castle? They're like, yeah. He's like, don't say it. And he's like, they have a moat. Moat. Like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we can get past this little tiny river. You could swim. <laughs> moats fuck moats well, they're, they're, well they filled it with, with alligators, alligators. That. that was that's that's not essential true. To, yeah. no that oh. that's essential to it's the moat humongously important every moat. moat has alligators or I, crocodiles it's, it's got I stuff was, that'll fuck your day up I, I if it doesn't it's a lazy that. river yeah. <laughs> so that's what separates a lazy river yeah. from a, a reptile um, yeah or the reptile. Yeah. So an alligator could never enjoy a lazy river because it would then become, it would a, become moat. a moat. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. Dude, that that's like a kid's book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is that is a terrible existence. That sucks. I yeah. think the alligator is enjoying the moat like we would enjoy the lazy river. But he has to live with but, it. Yeah. But it's knowing a, but it's, it's not a lazy river. So yeah. technically he's never enjoyed a lazy river. Right. It's impossible to. 
Yes. That's like you can't be a straight person fucking a dude because as soon as you break the threshold, you're gay. <laughs> you can never know what it's like. A, right. You can never know what it's like as a straight man, what it's like to fuck a dude. It's a good point. It's a good point. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's a great point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was pretty fucking profound. Yeah. It was. It was. You, you stunned me. No straight man will know what that's like. No. Fuck. Damn. All right. Well, that was a new Untold Story episode. Oh, we didn't do the episode number. Also, Mook, what is the number? Does Mook have uh, anything he's supposed to do? Okay. No. Mook, uh, Mook was, uh, his assignment was just to be a little, little red. <laughs> a plus. Yeah. A mission plus. mission <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Not well quite done. as good as me, I feel like. I feel like I'm pretty oh, flushed right now. Dude, this but. is a saturated ass episode. <laughs> <Yes>. Golly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like the King James Bible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, episode 315. 315. Area code is... It's always fun to do. 315. 315. I feel like I Midwest. It feels like you should know. I've definitely heard oh. that before. Yeah. Syracuse. Syracuse. Uh, I was close. Fitting we were talking about you guys. Go, go orange. orange. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool. Good episode. Happy Halloween. Be safe. Check your candy.